What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan. Uh, I got a short one for you today. I do have an Adam Gase press conference for you, but that was really short. It was like two minutes. He didn't say a whole lot. It was basically just kind of updates on like injury statuses and stuff, which I will give you right now. So um, it looks like from, you know, we, we still are, you know, pretty, you know, banged up. I mean, we, you know, we have a you know handful of guys still on the injury report quite a few uh but you know guys are coming off guys are getting healthy and it looks to me as though everybody should basically be ready to go um i don't think i don't think there's anybody on the injury report that should not be available um so just you know whoever's inactive is just wh whoever's inactive it's kind of like you know first game of the season when everybody's healthy and you just gotta you know depend it depends on the game plan which is good so that means you know Tunsil uh should play hopefully you know i think james uh juan james should play aj derby should be good charles harris should be back up Devonte parker and kenyon drake should be good to go Tannehill's playing right so um we're looking pretty good um you know no real complaints uh on that front as of right now which is nice because you know obviously injuries have taken a, a major toll on this team um you know i just read an article uh a minute ago before i making this video about uh it was <clears throat> the article was titled every team's crypt and i was like a bleacher report article you know and and the biggest thing uh for every team this year and for us they said it was um availability of offensive personnel okay well that's for sure you know we've lost tons of guys on the offensive line throughout the year our quarterback receivers but essentially what that comes down to is injuries and because the defense has been you know bitten by injuries a bit too um, not quite as heavily as the offense, but that that is why you know that is a, a major reason why this offense has very drastically underperformed. Um, but anyway, so they are you know the team is about as healthy as it can be. It is a whole new team though, um, not a whole new team, but it is a very different team, particularly on offense. You know than we started the season with. So. Um, it will be interesting, but we do get Tannehill back, and I think he definitely gives us a much better chance. Tomorrow, I'll be making my video, uh, my preview video for the game, so look out for that. Uh, that's all I got for you really right now. Also, I hope everybody had a th uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you were able to spend time with you know, friends and family. That's what it's all about. Good food, stuff like that. Um, so I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, and with that, I'm going to send you off to this interview. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you want the alerts. Hit the like button as well. Uh, leave me questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. Again, as always, I love interacting with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Um, and of course, follow me on Twitter, at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, guys, I will see y'all soon. Enjoy. Fins up. everything he needs to do yeah, yeah i've seen him do pretty much everything he need to do it's just how's he gonna feel on sunday first time he gets hit things like that so he's been pretty good about like bouncing back from these type of these type of deals i mean he's recovered really quickly from this he said earlier to me uh this week that he's his confidence has been shaken a little bit he's kind of had a difficult season from an injury standpoint then you know what was going on with you and the agent and all that stuff. How do you get a guy to focus in when it's been a rough year mentally? That's a, that's a good, the thing that I always, like I've told him and other guys before that is, you can control what happens the next week and control how your week of practice goes. And then when you get to the game, when you get your opportunities in the game, make the most of them. And you can't, dwell on what's already happened. I mean, that's gone. That's in the past. I mean, if you worry about that stuff, that's where you kind of, that's like the pollution of the mind. Like, you can't worry about it. Like, he needs to 
continue what happened this week in practice. He had a good week of practice. He was running good. He was catching the ball. He was getting up the field. His, his, his energy at practice was really good. And now it's Sunday when we hit Sunday, when, when the ball's thrown you, make a play, get us some first downs, make some explosive plays. I mean, that's all that matters. Nobody, nobody cares what happened the other weeks if you have a good game this week. Um, forgive me, because I walked in a minute late. I apologize. Um, did you answer if Harris is healthy enough to play? No, I didn't. I didn't answer that. Okay. Nobody asked ask. me. Is Harris healthy enough to play? I think that things look good going into Sunday. How much do you think he can help you guys, and especially, well, I mean, I think he, I mean, he's had some time to recover. He's done a great job in the weight room. I think he feels extremely, as far as his strength goes, probably as good as he's ever felt. You know, his conditioning's like always has been just off the charts. And I think this is about as good as he's felt probably since before training camp. All right, guys, you've reached the end of my video. This is the end of the interviews. I hope you enjoyed those. I hope you enjoyed my show. Also, as a whole, if you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, and please share your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. I love interacting with you guys. It's for you. This is for you. Um, you know, and also follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. It's on the end screen. My Twitter handle is on the end screen if you need to know it. And with that, guys, I'm out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up.